there guys, Coaster Chal here, Donkster Born, Bob Built for Theme Parks and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. Now this is a very interesting one because via Coaster Gens, massive shout out to you, we got some screenshots from his video um, showing the latest work around the Subterra site and it's opened up the debate now of whether 2022 could be the year that the return of Nemesis Subterra Alton Towers Resort. We're going to look at the evidence, we're going to look at the reasons for and against the move and also share my personal thoughts and my personal opinions on what I think is going to happen. So, before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the case bell so you never miss another video. Make sure you go into the description down below for social media links, uh, Google Forms where you can submit your video ideas. And for now guys, let's have a look at all the work taking on between Nemesis Subterra and let's have a look to see if this work means a potential return for the ride. Access to the Nemesis Historical Archive has been authorised. Please be aware that all information held on the Phalanx database is regulated by International Data Protection Protocols. So big changes were happening on site at Nemesis Subterra Alton Towers, or the formerly known as Nemesis Subterra Alton Towers. The yellow gazebos and everything to do with Port Project 42 had been removed from the site. Now the yellow gazebos were very important as they were near sort of around the, the locker area of Project 42. And you had like an old pre-show which we'll have a closer look at uh, in terms of where it was. But the yellow gazebo tent, as you could clearly see, uh, had been officially removed. And this was a very significant looking change because it, it showed that Project 42's foundations were being, you know, ripped out of the site. And it's very, very clear now that uh, from what I heard and from what other people have heard, you know, they couldn't take out any of the existing walls in Subterra. They had to build Project 42 inside Nemesis Subterra. It was basically Project 42 inside Nemesis Subterra. That is what it was basically described as. So it's very interesting that all the Project 42 stuff is out, but the Subterra stuff still remains. For decades, Phalanx has been delivering tactical security to sensitive research locations across the world. It has access to the latest satellite tracking technologies and boasts a 48-hour response time to any location on the globe. Obviously, another humongous change was the queue line being swept up, and it's just waiting for a repaint from the look of this screenshot. It looks very fresh, and it's you know it's very interesting to to see all of the work being done at this particular area. Because obviously, a couple of years ago, when you see uh, well before Project Forty Two came in, definitely you saw like the the leaves all about the queue line, and it feels very fresh, and it feels like you know it's been more kept well done. And maybe this is a hint that they're freshening up the queue line for a brand new experience or a returning experience. The facility you are about to enter is one of Phalanx's most recent acquisitions and potentially its most exciting. Phalanx was deployed to this location when excavations near the long established Nemesis site revealed hidden cave systems extending for several kilometers below ground. And lastly, the biggest physical change was around the black tent. And uh, now this was the sort of ending to Project 42. Uh, and the tape that held the, the black tent stuff up uh, was removed as well. So this says to me that the whole Nemesis Subterra aspect of it remains. And the Project 42 aspect of the experience is being taken out. Which could be very exciting signs indeed. But now let's share my thoughts on what I think could be going down on the site. Recent discoveries at this site have prompted Phalanx to upgrade its security status to Category 1. These discoveries represent an astonishing research opportunity for this and future generations. Safe access is now guaranteed for both scientific personnel and civilian visitors. So for those of you who need a little bit of history on Nemesis Subterra before we get going, it is a bunch of dark drop tower attractions by ABC Rides from Switzerland. It opened back in 24th of March 2012 and closed back in 2015 at a cost of £5 million, a capacity of 1,200 riders per hour and a 3 minute ride experience. Now this sat on the former site of Dynamo, uh, the old flat ride, the old Huss breakdowns in the Forbidden Valley section of the park and of course there was a a lava lump that was relocated from Ugland for the last couple of years of its operating life on that site before the site was transformed into what was codenamed in 2011 Nemesis What Lies Beneath. But now let's have a look at my thoughts on what I think could be going down on site. So 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages. That is looking at what's going on at Subterra site right now. Big, big shout out to Coaster Gents uh, for the screenshots of what's going down at the site. And uh, of course, you saw flashes of the old Q line video in between, uh, just to give you a bit of Subterra vibes. Uh, but this, de ladies and gentlemen, is definitely very, very interesting because. Yes, this could be a general cleanup of the site, and apparently there was people spotted there um, just a couple of weeks ago, or around a week or so ago. There was people spotted around the site, so it's very, very interesting to see what could be going down here. Obviously, we knew that Alton Towers put something out on their April Fools. Um, it was like an inside of the Subterra building, and it was like the the floor markers, the social distancing markers being put down the floor. We knew it was photoshopped. We knew it was fake. We knew it was an April Fools. But, maybe if that was an April Fool's, then what could be going down here outside with the sweep up of the queue line, uh, or the Project 42 stuff being removed, the markers, I've got to mention, the markers uh, for the on the floor for the lift have been put back in place on the floor outside. So, very, very interesting that stuff is happening on that site. Maybe it is just general preparation work, and then maybe a team comes into the building uh, throughout the summer and the autumn and the winter to do some interior work, or maybe a brand new ride system because let's face it nemesis subterra was removed from the parks website back in 2019 so we know this ride is gone we know it's not coming back however what if it's a brand new version of subterra coming or returning maybe it's a brand new version or a brand new lease of life to the ride look at valhalla at blackpool pleasure beach look at the new lease of life they're giving into that ride Maybe this is just a new lease of life for Nemesis of Terror in a completely different way. Maybe it's not like a completely new attraction, but maybe a 75-80% new addition in a way. Because, you know, it could be a complete overhaul of the experience, but keeping the Subterra name. Or it could be a completely new name and story, but the same ride system or replacement ride system from a different manufacturer. Or even the same manufacturer. It should be very interesting. Now, obviously, there's a couple of theories as to why it could and could not be. Obviously, we talked about the fact that it's been removed from the park's website uh, just a couple of years ago so we knew it wasn't happening we knew it wasn't going to come back along with twirling toadstool we knew it wasn't coming back however if you look at it think of it if this is coming back or if, if a new version of this ride is coming in 2022 look at 2012 when they brought it in you know 10 years on from when they first brought it in, maybe something is finally being done with the site and if you do look at what else they added in 2012 Ice Age 4D in the Cloud Cuckoo Land Theatre, which is now in the world of David Williams. So what if 2022, the focus will be on a replacement for Subterra or a new lease of life for Subterra, as well as a show as an expansion to the world of David Williams in the theatre space. Now, we don't know if that would be true or not, but... You know, I think that the theatre space will get used as part of the world of David Williams. It's not too far away from happening. And um, I think that that and, you know, Nemesis of Terror Reborn, in a way, would be two great additions for 2022. And if you think about it as well, look at... Ch and people will comment down below and say, you know, this building's been abandoned for a few years apart from Project 42. Why would they start doing little cleanups outside and it would mean a, a rebirth? Look at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Prime example. Closed back in 2015, 2016, left alone for a few years, and then they brought in the Alton Towers dungeon for the 2019 season. Leave it alone for a few years, and then suddenly a massive, massive cleanup. Maybe Nemesis Subterra is the next site to receive some kind of major new addition or refurbishment or overhaul of the site. And we see that a lot with Alton Towers. They've been cleaning up areas of the park, whether it's general paint ups or a brand new attraction entirely. Um, so this this hints towards for and against Nemesis of Terror returning or a new lease of life coming in. I've said for weeks and months and probably even a year or so on this channel now. I don't think Subterra will come back as Nemesis of Terror, but what I think could happen is a Dark Apocalypse style theme, like the the Phalanx being the, the Phalanx operative returning, but in a brand new storyline. Maybe not related to the Nemesis, but maybe like a Dark Apocalypse kind of thing where it's like. Uh, a strain of outbreak um, sort of contaged in this uh, research facility, this this uh, reserve facility. Um, and it's sort of the phalanx sort of keeping control and there's like an outbreak of zombies that sort of burst out. And the storyline is you've got to escape the observation chamber of the reserve facility of the, of, of the contained outbreak of the, the zombies. And you, and then you sort of have to escape via this this lift system, 
or this like extra lift system, but then that's the drop tower experience. I'm not too sure how it would work. I mean, outbreak virus would be a little too close to home right now. But I think that some kind of storyline involving the Phalanx, but not involving the Nemesis, would be a great separate storyline for Forbidden Valley. And I think that it would be a great way to incorporate that building, whether it be a new drop tower system in the dark, or whether it be a different ride system in Dialy. So, I think there's room to grow. I think there's room for creative potential with this. But, maybe, potentially... Take it with a pinch of salt, but potentially with the cleanups outside and with past experience of Charlie being left alone for a few years and then stuff happening to it around the summertime with the Merlin Magic Making coming in, maybe this is potentially the first teeniest little signs that Nemesis Subterra site could be the focus for the 2022 investment. Obviously, we know... We, we know, let's be honest, we, if you saw the video yesterday, we know that Chessington World Adventures will be next in line for a roller coaster in the Merlin chain for the UK parks. 2023, that's going to be the year. I did say 2024 or 2025 on the video, but then people told me in the comments that it was 2023 uh, from the documents and, the, uh, and stuff like that. So, 2023, Chessington, brand new coaster for August to plan. So that means 2022, there's got to be some kind of focus here. And I don't think Thought Park will receive it. Legoland Windsor's getting the new Lego Mythica area for this year. I think the focus, since Chessington got the flat ride in 2021 with Crot Drop as well, I think the flat ride focus will be a dark drop tower to replace the old Subterra system and for 2022. Because I think that, along with a new show in the David Williams Theatre, uh, or, or maybe, maybe we see a new show. Depends on, like, obviously indoor building conditions with COVID if it's still around 2022. But I think if we do get a new show in 2022 in the David Williams um, Theatre building, I would, like a Gangster Granny Live or something, I would like to see those two additions because it's replicas then of the where the locations of investment were in 2012, which is Nemesis of Terror and the Ice Age 4D in that theatre space. So, there's a bit of a theory with that one, but let me know in the comments down below what do you think. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.